Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for September 6th. September 6th is the 249th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 250th in leap years, with 116 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is chickadee. Chickadee is a noun that is the name of a certain small North American bird in the Paraday family of birds which are small passerine birds, which means perching birds. Chickadees are bright and curious birds. Chickadees are known to stash food away for later. I understand there are several kinds of chickadees, but around here we mostly see the black-capped chickadees. The name chickadee is imitative of the sound they commonly make, chickadee dee dee. Chickadees love sunflower chips. So do squirrels, though. So to keep the squirrels from hogging up all the sunflower chips, we serve them up in a cage feeder. The openings in the cage are big enough to let the chickadees and other small birds in and keep the squirrels out. Chickadees, the state bird of Maine. Chickadee is also often used as a term of endearment. <laughs> First known use of the word chickadee is in 1832, chickadee. And with that, on September 6, 1492, Christopher Columbus headed out from the Canary Islands. His last stop on that side of the ocean before crossing the Atlantic for the first time. They'll arrive to the New World just over a month later. On September 6, 1620, the Pilgrims sailed from Plymouth, England on the Mayflower to settle in America. Now, why did they do this? Were they a bunch of wild adventurers looking for excitement? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no. <laughs> These folks were Puritan Calvinists, as I understand it, a pretty strict group of Protestants. Apparently, they disagreed with some of the tenets of the Church of England and wanted to separate themselves from it found themselves persecuted for that. They first moved to Holland in the Netherlands, the pilgrims did, and a few years later they decided they'd like to establish their own settlement in the New World. So here they came. This is the birthday of English chemist, physicist, and meteorologist John Dalton, born September 6, 1766. He's best known for introducing atomic theory into chemistry and for his research into colorblindness, which was of particular interest to him because he himself was colorblind. Interestingly, September 6, 1803 is the date given as the date that he began using symbols to represent the atoms of different elements. While Dalton's symbols are different from the letters and numbers we see in the periodic table of elements, they were an effective way to organize and symbolize thinking around what can certainly be a complex subject. John Dalton lived to the age of 77. Today's song is Rhinestone Cowboy by Glenn Campbell. Written by Larry Weiss, who actually released it in 1974 on an album of his own there. It uh, didn't do much on that initial release, but Glenn Campbell heard it and recorded it. Released in May of 1975, Music writers have observed that the song is about getting through tough times, surviving and making it, and one day shining as brightly as a rhinestone cowboy. Rhinestone Cowboy became one of Glenn Campbell's signature songs, hitting number one on the Billboard Hot 100 on September 6, 1975, for the first of two weeks, and has been covered by several notable artists in English and in other languages, and has been featured in several movies. Rhinestone Cowboy by Glenn Campbell. Link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page called No Really. <laughs> and you can also find me on Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey. All those links in that description. 
Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Alrighty, back to work. I think we got it this time.